hello there and uh, currently here in uh, Gili uh, Mino I think it's called uh, which is the middle island of the Gili Islands um, just uh, sort of north northeast of Bali um, you can see Bali uh, Mount Ugung from uh, from the beach here and I can also see the the first island and just about the second island as well it's just behind I'm happy because I'm going to be doing a bit of a fast and a cleanse and with coconuts so I've brought 10 of these <laughs> well I've actually gone for, well 15 in total I've had about four four or five already and I've got a machete which I brought here in Bali and a very simple to cut open and I've got a, a straw as well I was going to buy the bamboo straws but I felt draw my intuition was like okay buy the machete and also uh, buy, buy the straw buy a metal one a stainless steel one so I did that I'm very happy because I'm able to just have them whenever I want and buy them buy the coconuts in bulk <laughs> so they work out about a pound per coconut which is okay because it's an experience and I, I can't find them anywhere else we're staying here it's literally on site it's like you know maybe 30 meters away to just to purchase them from the door so very very simple so the plan is I'm going to fast on just coconuts I'll have the coconut meat and just the water and uh, I'm going to be doing that for a couple of days basically and then after a couple of days uh, having a lot of roughage and the, the raw meat inside of me of the coconut um, I'm going to do a, a salt water flush on one of the mornings and uh, that's basically just going to clean out my insides I might do it twice I'm not sure and then I'll fast again the day after so that's the plan basically is, is come here you know I want to put on weight I want to put on bulk but you know that's not important right now I'm in a warm place I'm able to fast I'm able to cleanse my body and also cleanse my mind too. do some meditation do some documenting and get some sun do a bit of snorkeling and have some great coconuts so I'm really looking forward to, to cracking these open every day you know six seven times a day and uh, you know but think about it, 10 pounds a day on food like you know and then 10 pounds a day on the accommodation um, you know it's like 20 pound a day for sort of living in total it may seem like a lot but um, when you're here away it's kind of like you have everything at your doorstep too I'm gonna look around for some coconuts if I can find them which are just recently fallen or mature coconuts that have been on the ground for a bit longer um, there is, I don't think there really is a coconut fast, it's just the fact of there's a lot of liquids and coconuts. This isn't the biggest one I had, the other one was massive, it was about this size, and you had about maybe, I don't know, almost two litres in there, they were quite big, and a lot of uh, f flesh too, a lot of uh, meat, so it does fill you up, and it's very, very light as well, so I'm going to do that. It, it is some fats and proteins, but the benefits of coconut alone are, are very, very powerful, and you know, they have a lot of health benefits so I see no reason why not to have coconuts as a fast for example in the Vietnam War I, I heard that they used to use the coconut water as blood transfusions putting straight into patients uh, bloodstream um, to get them more white blood cells which will create more blood so if they lost some blood they'll basically be have the that bag you see in, in hospitals above you and it just drip feeding into your, into your bloodstream basically so there's lots of health benefit benefits to coconuts. Coconut oil is amazing, has hundreds of different properties. Um, and the coconut tree, coconuts and hemp are two of the most powerful sort of plants about which do so much. And it's just amazing how a tree can hold, you know, 20, 30 of these and there's so much weight. But it also can be very dangerous if they fall on you. So um, just stay clear if you are in a tropical place of just coconuts. Um, coconuts falling on you basically you know I've heard in India that people have been sent to hospital because they're being hit by the head on the head uh, by coconuts so that's the update I'm gonna be doing a coconut water fast in a sense with a little bit of meat but um, not meat vegan meat vegan coconut meat and I'm gonna go from there so I'll speak to you guys soon and have a great day Good morning, and um, okay, got two bottles of uh, salt water here, and um, it's uh, 6 a.m. here on Gili Mino. And uh, last night I mixed uh, two bottles of salt water, um, one which is 1.5 uh, liters and one which is uh, uh, 500 ml. 
um, which basically together makes two liters of water, two liters of salt water. And uh, doing a, a cleanse, a salt water flush. The idea is to drink all of this, which is salt water, uh, which has uh, one tablespoon, heat tablespoon of uh, sea salt together. Should be. I've got a bit of water with me, plain water, just in case I've got the levels wrong. Uh, I've only had a teaspoon and had a tablespoon. Um, yeah, it's uh, early morning sunrise. There's a few people up already. And I uh, haven't done this for a while. I did this last week, but I only had one bottle, which was 1.5 um, litres, which wasn't enough really. So this is why I have uh, another one, which is about half. So I'm going to get on drinking. It uh, should have all been dissolved from last night. It's quite strong. Um, this is going to pass through me within maybe an hour. And it's going to be like a full body clonic. So, um... Don't just try this at home on your own, just please do research first. You need to eat very light uh, the day before, um, or eat nothing at all. If it is before that, you need to eat very, very simple, um, just fruits and veggies, nothing dense, no rice, no bananas, no potatoes, especially no cheese or meat. Um, eat very, very light. So I've literally just woken up and I've come straight to the beach, which is like a, a less than a minute walk away. And uh, I got bitten already last night. Oh, I've got the mosquito net over me, but there's lots of flies about, uh, usually this time in the morning. So the local uh, fishermen are, are going out in the water, doing their bit, and I'm doing my bit on my salt water. However, the salt water is going in me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drink this, and um, yeah, let's in a bit. Yeah, so half the bottle gone. I have to let that sort of sit and digest into me first before I can drink any more. This can be hard. The first litre is very easy and then it gets a bit harder. Like not eating anything like the last two days. The first day I had um, a couple of bananas and I think some oranges. Just had some roughage in me. Oh, before it starts to get a bit uncomfortable. Already stuff is about to go and come through and I need the toilet, so I was planning on sitting here and make a video, but nature calls me and I need to go. So I'll report back to you after. Oh. Okay, it wasn't that bad, just I needed to be a bit more vertical get up and walk a bit and let things just um, 
for a bit more grounded. <laughs> uh, gravity is important. So once I'm full and I've drunk all these, then I'm going to be a bit more vertical and standing up a bit more. Also waiting for the sunrise, which should be like quite clear and beautiful. Over there, if you can see it, it's a um, Lombok. <clears throat> it's a Lombok volcano. And to my left is uh, Bali, which um, has lots of tiny little clouds over at the moment, so you can't see anything. that going in for your guts now, my guts anyway. You start getting to the bottom of the bottle, that's when it has a lot more dense in the taste, there's a lot more salt at the bottom. I need to stand up and let that um, go down into my body. That taste. <clears throat> you know, I was using pink Himalayan salt for, uh, for a few months. It never agreed with me. And last night I did a re read up on um, pink Himalayan salt. 
and it has it has it has no enzymes at all, has no nutrients. It's basically like you're just putting sand into your body. Um, whenever I've ever I've had sea salt, it's been a lot better and um, a lot more easier to get down his body. The taste is a lot better, a lot more pal palatable and better for you. And I feel like it works better as well. That's my intuition with, with pink Himalayan sea salt. That there is no um, no nutrients in it at all. It's just been completely. It's like rock that's been dyed, really, and it has a salt taste. Okay, well, that's the first bottle gone. Empty. And now I'm back down to uh, this one, which is. Um, I think that's the one. Yes. Completely different taste. Now I prefer the taste of the salt. Oh. Got the sun rising over here, to the right. Been quite beautiful. <sighs> and I've got about 75 meals to go. <laughs> ah. The sunrise, beautiful. And the sun is back to start another day. really beautiful here. I love the climate, but like last night it was hot because we didn't have any air con in the room, we just had a fan. So we've got this uh, mosquito net going over the bed. <laughs> you can get bitten and it's a bit hot. That's the only issue I have about being here. If I was to live here, I need some air con. Just take the, the heat out of the room and also clean the air. Okay, that's two litres done. I'm going to go snap a picture of the sun sunrise. And I'll speak to you soon. Morning, and uh, it's day uh, day one on the saltwater flush, and I've uh, been having coconut water for the past two days. Woke up this morning, so the sunrise, and um, yeah, I've been to it. It's been about 55 minutes or so. So still a lot of roughage was coming out, um, old stuff I saw, which is good. Um, so I'm just waiting for uh, the rest of any salt water in our body to come out. Um, give it another 20 minutes and then I'm going to have some coconut water. Continue my day having the coconut fast. <laughs> coconut water fast. And uh, just chill out by the sea, do some meditations, get lots of rest and get from there. So it's going to be another warm day. I miss the thunderstorms and the rain here, and Bali is a lot more because, um, you know, I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's the Bali volcano, and wherever there's volcano, the mountains, there's always going to be rain because um, <clears throat> the condensation from the, from the sea um, goes up to the mountains and sort of stays there, it doesn't sort of pass over, it doesn't have nowhere else to go, 
so daily it sort of thunderstorms and rains in the rainy season. Um, June to like October it's uh, it's quite dry, not much rain. So um, I do miss the rain here because uh, we're in Guinea Mino, in a very small island. It's about the size of uh, Otterhampton and Sturt of the retreat centre. So very, very small. It took me about 45 minutes, 50 minutes to walk around the perimeter of it. Uh, so very, very tiny here. But there's everything I need here. There's no distractions. There's no... Um, there's just coconuts. There's water. There's sea. There's air. And there's nature. That's all I need. And a bed. <laughs> so this is the ultimate place to come and, and uh, sort of have a cleanse, really. Uh, Bali is also good because it has tonics there. But I'm doing a full body chronic with salt water. So I'm feeling a bit better lighter today, right right now. Um, but I want to continue a bit longer and really you know, get the most out of this uh, cleanse. And then I'll enjoy some food again. <laughs> so I'm just going to have some coconuts again today. Uh, if it has coconut meat, I'll eat it. But mainly just having the water. Um, so I want to keep the fats and I need some roughage in there to help push stuff through. So that's it for now. Um, I'll continue my fast today and uh, I'll report to you later. So take care. Goodbye. Okay. Hello. So I'm here in uh, Gili Mino and this is my fourth day of having a, uh, <laughs> having a, a coconut water fast been having coconut water only with um, some of the a little bit of the flesh very tiny uh, it's mainly being sort of the, the jelly the coconut jelly so many many liquids <laughs> been doing that now for four days and uh, it's been hasn't been challenging at all the only challenging part is uh, seeing the beautiful food that's here there's fruit there's uh, vegan dishes and uh, that's the hardest thing of basically um, having the willpower <laughs> for me it's it's sort of easy you know but it's kind of like oh, I really want to taste the food it's like no no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that right now I'm gonna be strong um, so yeah lots of things can come up when you're fasting when you're clearing um, lots of emotions can come up to the surface you need to deal with because <laughs> it's kind of like we comfy we fill a void and um, emotionally when basically we are Upset about something, we, we want to fill a void, and so we eat, and so then that comes back out again when you detox. So when you detox and you cleanse, and you drink a salt water flush, when you even have fruit, fresh fruit, and your colon is being cleansed, a lot of emotions can come up. So last night, sending the stars, I was just feeling a bit like low, a bit lonely. Other past stuff came up in my past. I was like, oh shit, I'm feeling really, really shit, but it's okay. Um, it got better, because it always does. Um, so, yeah, I've got the enjoyment of being here in the warmth, which I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to try having a coconut cleanse, just eating coconuts only, and having the warmth. And I found it. I found it here. It's a great, great part of the beach, uh, a place called Gili Mino, the Gili Islands, which is uh, just off Lombok in Indonesia. So, you get to the island, this beachfront, which is beautiful, um, to the by me. <laughs> to my right you see the sunrise which is beautiful and to the left you see the sunset so you see all the nature it's amazing really really beautiful and um, you see the stars at night you see the fishermen at night on the on the water nature all around this it's not westernized here uh, there's small little houses there's no air con it's just a fan in there um, there's a shower and toilet that's all you need really that's all you need there's coconuts grow on the island, I'm happy. This is a really good place to fast, to do a, a, a water fast, especially a coconut fast. They range about 20,000 per coconut, which uh, is Rubian, uh, Indonesian ru rupiah money. Uh, transferred to English pounds, which is about one pound. So 20,000 is about one pound. So for about two, 200,000, I got 10, uh, sorry, 11 or 12 coconuts, I think it was. They did me a better deal for buying in bulk and I already bought a machete in, in Ubud which is just over there <laughs> the, the, the volcano you probably can see in the distance um, so yeah I had a, had a straw 
I have had a little spoon just to have a little bit of the jelly, but that's it, mainly just the water. I'm not going to waste a little bit of the flesh. Um, and every single coconut that I opened up had just water in it. There's a very sm small, minute bit of uh, jelly in there, like coconut meat. And it wasn't really meat, it was more the jelly, it was very liquidy. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of like the universe was having a bit of a chuckle with me, like, no, you're going to do this uh, coconut water fast, and we're going to help you. And so I bought all the coconuts, which were just uh, coconut water only, which was great. Um, yesterday morning I did a salt water flush. This morning I did a salt water flush. And I've had just coconuts, which is great. Um, woke up, had three coconuts, two uh, after a few hours and having a cleanse. And then one recently. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling light. I don't feel hungry. <laughs> it's it's been easy really um, I think because I'm here in the tropics this is where you need to come and fast and to cleanse you need this environment you need the warmth doing it in England in the UK in the winter it's just it's 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 pain right there because it's it's uncomfortable you're sweaty here you can just go straight into the sea and have salt salt baths basically which are really good and purifying for the whole body helps to detoxify you further so I'm really happy here it's great um, it's, there's nothing else to do here and because I'm, I'm fasting, I'm, I don't want to be moving much of my body and be using energy. I'm walking about for that day, I'm having a little bit of a swim, but maybe I'm just in one place, just being, just allowing my body to heal and it's, it's a new experience because, you know, the last time I'd done that, I had things to do. I had Wi-Fi locally, I was able to sort of do anything I wanted, play my gongs and chill. Uh, here, you're a bit limited because you don't have those those luxuries of uh, Western you know, civilization, uh, internet and everything. So I was twiddling my thumbs a bit thinking, what should I do, what do I do? And I was able just to be present basically. Just enjoy the nature, enjoy the trees, enjoy the smells of the food going by. I'm thinking, I'm gonna wait until I've had a bit of uh, raw food in me after I've done my cleanse, then I'm gonna enjoy the, the food here, the vegan, vegan food, because everyone says it's amazing. Uh, there's some uh, like brown rice dishes with vegetables and it's like really good price. It's like 20,000 for, for a meal, which is quite a lot. Um, you get quite a lot of food, I mean, and a good price as well. So I really recommend uh, checking out Gili Mino, a uh, place where, where I am. It's called uh, Nella Warung. Warung is an Indonesian name, which means small restaurant. And it's very, very tiny. It's got like three, four um, living huts for, for staying. Uh, in there you just have a bed, like a double bed with a mosquito net over it and then in the back you have a toilet and a shower and that's it, that's all you have. You have a small balcony, but that's all you need, you're around nature. It's um, beautiful, it really is. But yeah, during the saltwater flush and after, emotions can come up, it can be quite difficult. So at the moment I'm really enjoying just being and enjoying and I'm going to continue again today. So. Much love for me, and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.